So okay. Well, here we are in Kerala, India, and That's right. yeah, well, I have a beautiful chick sitting on on a bridge, and Papa? yeah, this bird is definitely not Indian. That's true. As yeah. you can see, it's a little bit blondy. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't seen this breed at all, so would you care to tell us a little more about you? Okay, well, that's possible. I think I flew over from, let me think, Germany. But I live in the Netherlands. So, right. our kind has some more blondy hair. That's why most of the people here think again, they might have a look at the alien. Uh -huh. but it's not as bad as it was in Cairo, so... This bird is actually feeling quite comfortable here. Okay, so... And I would really say I land it. This is my place to be. This is your place to be? Yes. We are here in Kerala, or Kerala, in Katikat, or as well as also called, it's called Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Whew, one of the most relaxing, beautiful places in the world I've ever seen. So which is the most beautiful bird in Salim Mali? Is it you or is it some, some other bird? <laughs> ah, for my taste, it's of course the ones with two wings and some feathers. Hello! I was so much fascinated today to see some hornbills. We went to see the Malabar white hornbill. Okay. As well as just some minutes ago over there we saw some woodpeckers. I can't remember the name, but they were like red, of course, by the crest, and then they were like greeny, white, and a little bit of black. Uh -huh. Ooh, awesome, we saw a pair of them. Okay. Uh, let me think. We did see bee eaters, but so far away, and we had the experience of the birds, of the bird to be here already this morning. I was so angry because our bird guide, Chris. He was so lovely. We've been driving up the first route and then he was speeding up. I told him, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. There's a, oh, there's a little bird, I need to film it. He was like, no, that's just a common chicken. <laughs> of course, it was the great jungle foal, the hen. Very nice. He told us, oh, it's no problem. Later on, we will see many of them. That's very common here. But of course, until now, the sun is going down. We didn't see any more, so. All right. Incredible! Just a common chicken! <laughs> so, and getting a little cloudy again at night, all this tuk tuks, whatever we are running around here. But what did you think about the, the, the great Indian, the Malabar squirrel rather? Oh, the squirrel. Mm. I didn't know that actually. Uh, I remembering that I ever saw a picture of it, but now it's like huge. I believe it's like this size. Mm -hmm. I did only see it up in the trees, I guess like 20 or 30 meter high, and it was still like a big capture on my photograph. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful. It has colors like the red rough glamour from Madagascar a little bit. Um, the head is different, of mm -hmm. course, but oh, awesome animal. I would like to you know, catch it and take on my arms and, you know, see how it feels and how nice it is, but it's not my pet. <laughs> it's just so lovely to see it here. <laughs> well, you're breaking a lot of hearts, taking uh, the squirrel in your arms. <laughs> oh, of course. I love animals, all of them. I mean, I can't take all of these men to my heart. That's like impossible. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for this, but just you come visiting me at my gig maybe and we have fun, but I prefer hugging a squirrel <laughs> like the giant there is. <laughs> okay. So, so how do you feel about India? Wow. Uh, it's different than I expected it, honestly. I expected it to be like very dirty and very crowdy and stressy and I don't know. But it feels, until now, it feels more like country life. Even Bangalore wasn't as crowdy as I thought. Um, the trip to this place was a little bit horrible. It was really painful especially to my butt because I've been sitting on my butt at least for 48 hours mm -hmm. and any time I could imagine that the bus stopped I went out to pee and I really didn't want to drink anything because of that and 
the second bus, we had to change buses, we didn't even know, but the second bus, we finally found a place where I could smash and lie down, which lasted for, I can't even remember, maybe two hours, uh, very, very small seats, but okay, I finally found like relaxing, and then the very nice roads of the Western Ghats started, and it was like always like this, which meant like every few seconds I had to hold myself to the next seat to not fall on the ground on the bus. That's <laughs> and an the experience. bus were about to take us here in 11 hours. Ah, oh, which was very lovely. I think we needed like 16 or 17 hours at the end. Mm -hmm. So that was really a relief once we finally arrived on the whole trip and even before I was so much looking forward to get some exotic fruits but it just didn't happen oh. <laughs> but then finally when a friend of a friend of us came to pick us up we got all these nice mangoes and you have this sweet fruit here which you can peel off it's a little bit like anome or cherry moya or whatever you call it it's very sweet with this uh, black seeds inside and Oh, this was the best I could get on that day, finally! <laughs> uh, so we went on a nice trip actually to get to Salimali Bird Sanctuary and meet up a guy which I already was connected on Facebook and Facebook and his brother and they were actually the ones that hosted us here were our bird guides which was so funny because I didn't expect this actually. There's another bird flying there. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Wow. So we were able, somehow we had rain like hell. It did rain and thunder all night and I think most of us couldn't fully sleep but in any case we made it to get up like 8 o'clock in the morning at least me. And um, we already filmed some hornbills in front of our house and then we went uh, for the first trip and for the second trip and it was raining like cats and dogs but still it was nice because it was like warm, it didn't get cold and I didn't need my rain jacket at all. Uh, even I didn't get bitten by any mosquito, but my camera had to be protected from the rain and also the birds didn't show up, most of them, because of the rain. But at the very end we also got the frog mouse. They told us like the most rare species here in India to find, at least regarding birds. I got it, we were standing like this close. Oh, awesome. So you had like a really good time with the camera filming everything? If I had a good time with my camera, I don't know. I thought I loved my cam. I didn't try it before, at least not with the Taylor lens. But I'm a little bit disappointed because the 7200 is not what I need. I need like this to get the birds sharp on picture, which I wanted. Damn. Ah, so this is really a disaster. <laughs> I just got it brand new and my friends told me this is the best you're gonna have. But Gotta improve on this in the next years, maybe one next time when I come back here. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Either change the lens or change your friends. Why change the friends? <laughs> I don't get this. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. That makes me thinking. <laughs> Will they get me another lens uh, for free or? <laughs> No, my friends, which I met here, are a beautiful company. Actually, <laughs> they have much patience with they have much patience with my passion for waiting and making photos and being fascinated by everything that's around. Even this, you know, black creeping centipede. Yeah, we found them, and it's lovely. And uh, not all like them, but I was like, oh, I have to film it. <laughs> So, so what about your music gigs? What are you expecting and how's it going to be? How's it going to be? It's a big question. It's okay. a big question in my head, like, how is this going to be in India? <laughs> uh, but as far as I heard, people are in love with trans music and in the short time we had actually to organize these gigs, um, well, we had a, me and my friend had a long time to prepare for this, but till I finally got my visa, it was the first moment we could actually start in promotion uh, until we finalized the gigs, which I have. It was a very short time, so I hope that the trans fans will really reach out to my parties and then we'll make a good one. Um, so, as a lot of you are coming and you're enjoying the music I play, which I downloaded the last weeks to try to get the best ever and be really up, freshly updated with some newest sounds, 
then I hope we can make a good thing happen. Awesome. So, one crazy thing that you're going to do in India? Any plans? Really crazy? Honestly, if I compare it to things that all of my friends would do or any other, most of the other women I would know, it's like everything I'm doing here is crazy. <laughs> because they say on the news like, oh, it's crazy going to India, and it's dangerous, and they have like witches and mosquitoes, they have like men that are cruel to women and, oh. and everything. Uh, but I just go for it. I booked my flight and I got my visa and I was like, okay, I try to prepare whatever I can. But there was no time schedule to do anything. There was like a few days before. So I got a, uh, I put an official request on Couchsurfing um, for like four or five weeks. And I got more than 60 requests. It's already deleted this request, but I don't know how. People are still finding me and every day. So I want to guys asking me to stay at their house and I was like what is this what I'm gonna do now but there were fortunately also some really nature lovers with it some were like nature lovers and the one that's filming now which is you Amit <laughs> this one is loving nature and the um, disco scene and the music so in some crazy spontaneous way I was able to get at least two people together uh, here with me to go to Alim, uh, Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary and film and um, well this is already crazy but the trip will continue so tomorrow night we'll go back to Bangalore um, then tomorrow night oh yeah then it's Sunday uh, I will have my where I will meet um, another Indian guy but he's like half from Mongolia and half Indian and um, we will do a tour on our two um, people only two I'm not sure but through Rajasthan and I think also Juarat to find the great Indian bustard which is the most endangered bird of India um, which would be awesome if we get anyhow close to this bird which I want to protect actually in the next years or support the program they are starting with this bird. Maybe we get a chance to see the lesser florican as well. Um, also I want to see the painted spurfowl which is one of the most beautiful chicken-like bird I've ever seen on picture at all. Uh -huh. So if we are able to at least see two or maybe three of them in four or five days uh, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So that will be crazy. Then I fly back to New Delhi uh, for another gig and from there we'll fly back to Bangalore to have my gig and after that gig, directly after that gig actually, I'm flying back to Germany. Yeah. Okay, so. well that's hectic. That is going to be very hectic, very busy. Um, yeah, maybe, but because I'm eating a lot of fresh uh, fruit, exotic fruit from here, um, I feel very fine and the weather is awesome and um, Good. Yeah, I don't have to worry about anything so I can manage this hectic actually. Okay, one last question. Yeah? What do you say about Indian toilets? <laughs> yeah, you like my real answer, don't you? <laughs> you like to hear this? Yeah. Okay, where should we start? First of all, what is mentioned always in all the travel books is please take tissue papers with you because they are needed. <laughs> yeah, at least if you don't want to, you know, get your hands dirty because you have to use the water and all this. People think it's clean, but I'm not really agreeing that it's clean, especially if you have no soap where you later on can wash your fingers, right? So most of the kind of toilets they have, they maybe have water but no soap. Which means, okay, I brought all my tissue papers and wet tissue papers and, and all cool, but in any case, there is no toilet at all. You might be able to find a toilet on the street. Most of the shops there are. I don't know if they go in the backyard to shit or however they arrange it, but they don't even have a toilet. And if you are able to find a toilet like in the car garage or something like that, it's like, uh, you have the, you're covering the red button. Yeah. Uh, so if you find a toilet at all, you can only expect like a hole in the ground sure. and then you step on it and you, you make whatever you like to do and then you take your tissue papers if you don't forget them and then you can be very happy you were able to find some toilets and then also your stomach is happy again and then 
you get prepared for the next step and you hope maybe not to drink, to eat, to whatever too much, to search for another toilet again. <laughs> so much, since you know about it, what else can you do about it? Just take it as it is. <laughs> well, on that happy note, Karasun will have a good stay in India. Yes. Best of luck for your gigs. Thanks, thanks and a lot. I'm hoping that you come back. We'll yeah, see I would you. love to because yes. it already started awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, enjoy <laughs> yourself. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is so fucking long this interview. I can't. I'm just sorry.